Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, joined by Nephinox. Last episode, or maybe it was before that, um, I got a new mercenary lady friend. Um, she's as sweary as my current mercenary person. And we're going on adventures. I like her better than the robot anyway, because she's she has a gun instead of a spear. What robot would have a spear? Just shoot people with your robot face. That's how that works, right? I think so. Yeah, so we're progressing slowly towards um, the 13th floor. Um, let that sound however it's going to sound. And, um, well, yeah, that's when, like, our first playthrough ends, and we start being able to get newer accentuations to our weird dust power crystal that we took out of our ship. But for right now, the levels are getting longer and longer, so I might clip them into multiples, so from here on out, it might end up being rolling cuts. If it is, you might get a random request to like and subscribe in the middle of an episode or something. Um, just ignore it. If so, um, sometimes that happens. I might just clip that out. Who knows? We'll see. I have a little timer just for this. I don't even need a secondary app for it on this phone. I love this phone. It's great. Well, yeah, let's, uh, let's open another door. Oh, I was jumping on... Well, fine, just run up there. In front of me, Nefnox. <laughs> just make my my janky slow man legs so inadequate. Bastard. But, um, in the race of news, um... Arkansas is now the first state to make coding mandatory for high school students, and I think that's fantastic. I had a lot of fun learning to code in JavaScript and HTML in school, and uh, later forcing myself to learn PHP and other coding uh, stuff. And I think it's important for people going into the future to know how to do that. Even if you're not exceptionally good at it, it gives you an insight into the logic that goes into computers and pr Wow, you're just going nutso on the industry, aren't you? Yeah. I have a strong feeling we're going to need a lot of defensive turrets. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, speaking of, I have a lot of industry. Let me build some buddy bots. Oh joy, we have super speed. Look at me go! Where did you get super speed? Oh, there's a Stella. Stella Stele? I used to remember, I used to know the, how to pronounce that word. It like or it used to be like I think it's Stella. Cause there's like um, Stella in like art history from like cultures. Stile, maybe it's both. It's like one of those tomato tomato wieners kind of situations. So now we're getting Buku upgrades from those things with our buddy bots. Um I'd have them I guess maybe I'll just put in the voice for funny bot if I can find a good clip of it. Um but they won't say hi to you guys. I'm sorry, internet. It's just not a thing. Would you like one of my Tazatrons? Alright. I just built one, so it's really not optional. Sounds about right. I can't really build any more of these. Did you open a door? You did. This thing's like a perfect room to stick shit in. It murders things. Let's do that. Let's do all kinds of that. Uh, I don't really have a lot of murdery things, but poor cattle prods never hurt anybody except the cows. And cows aren't people, so that doesn't really count. Although someone out there is probably going to get icy like Larry. Cows have feelings too. I'm like, I'm sure they do. But they're you think like they don't care. Cows, cows take a lot of abuse from their handlers. I've seen it in first hand living in the country as I do. They don't seem to mind. It doesn't hurt them a particular lot. They just kind of pick you and move on with their day, eating stuff. And damn if it isn't super annoying when they break down my fence. I, I live on 80 acres, and they break down my fence on occasion because the land next to me is rented out to cattle farmers as uh, raising uh, just acreage. And cows, cows are... Occasionally you get a cow that we call them fence crawlers. 
and they just break down fences because they want to get at the food on the other side, even though there's plenty of grass where they're at, and they're just prone to it. Some cows just do that, and they're super annoying. And there's just really nothing you're going to do about it. Uh, did you have a plan here, Neff, or am I going to just open some doors? I think we're just going to open some doors here. All right. Let me open this one. Uh, okay. What, do you got a comment about my choice of doors, sir? Yeah. Well, you can just stick that comment somewhere. Probably where the sun doesn't shine. Probably an excellent place for it. I'll guard up here. You keep opening doors. Sounds good. Because our traps are being very effective at doing the thing. Um, where did you open a door? Down here. Okay. Then I'm going to light that room up, and I'm going to build a, uh, science thing in it. While these monsters slowly stream in and get spicy about my scarf. Did I mention that to everybody who jumped in for this episode? We're on floor 10. And, um, I have got, on my character right now, I've got a fantastic ascot. Uh, it's a hipster scarf. Don't be jealous. It's the Me First brand, and it makes stuff come try to punch me in the face, first and foremost, out of everyone in the room. I don't have to worry about my lady friend here, um, whatever the hell her name is, Nurse Dina Ratchet, uh, getting stabbed in the face, because the face stabbing is probably going to happen to my character first and foremost. And also, Nephanox has got, um, upgraded, uh, ta or taser pepper spray modules that look like Johnny Five from the Short Circuit movies, but like if he had like a slower brother. So you're up to speed, I guess. So what do you got down there? Anything good? Did you find any goodies? Uh, not really much. I found a table of food. I think I'll take the little lady and help you defend stuff, because she's not really needed up here. Um, you can stay in the room you're in right now, and you just rent- uh, yeah, that room, good. And you can build a Neurostun module in there. Oh, alright. Um, Neurostun. You think stuff's gonna be streaming through here? Yeah. Well, I guess it's good that we're spread out. It's like we're some sort of coordinated collective. Like a- like some type of unit that works together, like, uh... They used to call them, yeah, one of those things. That's what they used to call them in the old, the old days. Maybe. Oh, can I go grab this stuff? Oh yeah, they just dropped dust that you have to walk over to pick up now. Um, at your earliest convenience, the room above me has a damaged taser. If you want to repair that with your scientist. Right. Where is your scientist right now? I'll get on that. I don't know, he's somewhere. Oh, he's in the room next to me. Convenient, because that's where he should be. Or, well, it would be good that he is there, because he wouldn't have to walk as far. God, he's got Same a hell of a run, though. Do you see this? He's just like... Yeah. He's just like... Da -na 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 -na, even though he doesn't run that fast. He's just like... Oh, oh, oh god. They're gonna get me. Oh god. Not my jimmies. Alright, I'm opening another door. What snaps... Um, I guess there's gonna be more monsters coming to touch our stuff. Alright, alright lady, get sweary and start shooting him in the mouth. I guess she's smart enough now that she can science. Okay, her wit went up by like one or something. Oh, your pepper spray module is doing the stuff though, that's good. Did we find a research bay yet? Yeah, I found one. It's down there. I started researching on it. Alright, what did you research? Um, something. I don't remember. Oh, uh, you know. I wasn't paying that much attention, you know. I, f I, I decided that I researched Stephen Hawking robot, that instead of researching uh, black holes, would automatically swear at anyone that enters the room. Like a parrot, that you don't have to feed it. 
this is a dead end. Oh, look, there's people in here. People. Oh, look at that. Um... Yeah, a lady will just block him in the face. She's, in, she's into pistols and all that. Right, that's all those doors. You know, that's yeah. what was missing from so that show Sword Art Online that I saw a couple episodes of. You need to repair that room full of tasers again. They didn't have Dad. a gunslinger or a lady with, like, little hand um, crossbow bolts. That would have been cool. Um, uh, saw one of your little heart thingies. Which one? The, the little shooting ones. Alright. Yeah, that works. What are you gonna build? Pepper spray. Oh, that's probably a good plan. Basically makes the enemy tank everything for you. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, the lady ran up there. Whoops. Alright, I'm gonna open this door now. And hopefully... Which door? Nothing comes out of it. This door down here. Yeah, if it does, you're SOL, sir, because I don't have anybody over there. Oh, there good, there's it. a rammer. That's fantastic. Well, there it is. Did you find it already? Or is it up it's there? It's up by you. Oh, good. That's fantastic. Well, that lady's getting butt touched. Actually, that was pretty good. The robots we put in there did the thing, or did the smasher get pepper sprayed? I don't know, I ran up in there and murdered everything. I wasn't aware that pepper spray stood for a friendship mist. Although, I'm not surprised, it's actually a pretty common thing to have in, like, some type of tower defense game anymore. Like, in Orcs Must Die, you had, like, those, um, mushrooms that queefed a mist that made the, the orcs get really, um... Grabby with each other's backsides. I mean, mm. it doesn't seem very violent. It gets really violent really fast. Orc mating rituals are weird and kind of gross. I see. Let's see. Where are you opening another door? Way down here. You want to hold a um, Neurostun down here with me? I could do that. Let me uh, plop this right here. Should I build another device? I don't feel like we have nearly enough science going on right now. And I have like 500 frickin' points to spend. Or industry to use up. So by all means, if you need assistance on something, let me know. I'm actually gonna move my little dude up to that room where your pepper spray is. I wonder if my lady, since she does science things, can repair stuff, too. Uh, it doesn't seem so yet. Hmm. I don't see that getting much better, because... She has just enough science for that. Or wit, as it were. But I don't see her getting enough to really be, like, scientist-y useful, because I think your guy's probably up to, like, 20 wit by now. Uh, yeah, 21. Yeah, the older that these devices get... They start to get the swirls around them. Although you built this industry generator before we built my uh, uh, science kajigger over here, and it's got the swirlies around it already, and your stuff doesn't. Yeah, I'm not quite certain what does that. Maybe it's your person upgrading it. Although Maybe. it's got the little robots near it, though. Uh, here, I don't know. Here. Alright, I'm ready when you are. Do the thing. Alright. Put another door. What have we got? Oh, more touchy. Oh, uh, we have a rammer down by you, or is it up by me? I think it's up by you. Alright. Um, oh, I froze for a sec. Let me heal my dudes. I think it's down below, actually. Yeah, it, now it's down here. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me tell the lady to get sweary. Right, I need to send my guy on there. Yeah, uh, there's, there's some repairs needed. I should probably build in this outer room. 
some defenses, or you should help me do that. So I'll build one of these slowers. I will build one of these sublasters because they have AoE. Why don't you build a pepper spray and one of your other damaging towers? Like, Your favorite damage towers? Like whatever that thing is that looks like a crab. Yeah, it's uh, what is it? It's a tear gas. Oh, is it? it yeah, these effects are pretty nice to have. It applies damage over time to everything in the room, and it divides the defense of the monsters by 3.456. Nice. Uh, what else do we want to build? You should probably build the food generator in there, because I feel like we could do with more food. Alright, you want to move your character up to that room then? Um, yeah, I can do that. Just be aware that I might need... Yeah, see? it's That's what's causing it, is people upgrading it. Because look, it's got the swirly around it now. See this? Around the, the food generator? It yeah, just means it's it. turbocharged or something. Now this thing doesn't have it around it. Yeah, my character was upgrading and then he left and now it's not. Yeah, that's definitely that. Now we know. And that's some fraction of the battle that I'm not even prepared to admit to. Isn't that handy? Let me build a um, mechanical pal in this room or two just to help out with uh, food generation. Look, you got little friends, Nephinox's scientist slave. Yay. Look Ready at them. Me open a door? You can name them Ib and Bob. Yeah, open a door. Let me find the lady, because she's the one who isn't as upgraded. Let me actually upgrade her so she's not as, um... Not as susceptible to fondle. As, I mean, ladies, you are the, the, the numero uno fondle, like, targets in the world. Even beyond me just talking about people getting feisty and trying to fight you in games. So be careful out there. Walking well-lit paths. Um, it's unfortunate to say that, but there are nasty people in the world. Um, me, they stab. You, they do other nastier things, too. Although, me, less so much, because I'm not a small person. Usually when I'm downtown, I've got several pounds, like, a couple hundred pounds of, uh, camera equipment and heavy hard drives sitting in my backpack, so I can usually club people, which I've done before. I have clubbed a mugger with my backpack before. Yeah, that smushed his nose in real good and knocked him out. That was good. I found the king's armor. King's armor, huh? Yes. It's very flamboyant looking. What's in the other room? Is that the queen's under armor? You know what I mean? Wink, wink. What? I, I, made, a, a, I made a panties joke. Okay. I didn't hear from it, so yeah. Oh, I was saying, oh, what's in the room next door? Is that the Queen's Under Armor? Oh. See, now I get it. Look at you, big fancy man. Get this boy a cookie, everybody. I'm opening the next door. I see that. You know what I, I feel it. like we don't have enough of? Industry. We can always use more industry. It's true. I also feel like eventually we're going to have to put a bunch of defensive units in that room. Well, there's plenty of space in there to put defensive units. Yeah, let's just do that. I have a feeling that's going to be necessary, like, soon. Oh. Fondle's about to happen. Oh, you haven't been researching stuff, have you? Uh, I don't think I have. Oh, this might get hairy. Start swearing, my dear. Swear like the wind. Wind swear a lot? I think so. Hope so. Otherwise, we are screwed. They're getting through, by the way, so if you can help me with that. Worry. Um, did anything spawn up north? Not that it matters. That other guy's so slow, I might as well just have you do it. Thank god we have a fast, weird, janky insect that runs around with a spear. <laughs> Um, let me see what I can research before you set anything off. What do we got? Uh, uh, nothing really good. Ooh. I should... I'll research the upgraded land module, and I'm gonna build one of those. Um, where can I... 
dump one of these. Where is there a spare room? Here it is. Is this room lit? It is. Um, it's actually not that expensive. So this thing's gonna increase the effectiveness of all of our stuff, this land module here. Sounds good to me. And just to make sure it's super effective, I'm gonna build a couple buddy bots. That's what they should have called it. They should have called it the buddy bot. Mechanical Pal just doesn't have the same ring to it. It's like an off-brand helper robot. <laughs> you know? Well, I accidentally opened a door. Accidentally. Uh, how do you... How do you accidentally adore? I, you know, I was just walking towards him, and I just kind of tripped and fell into it, and it just opened. You know, we don't have defenses in that room yet. You should pro- Oh, you did build a couple, alright. Yeah, we're good. Dude. Yeah. I like had my camera perfectly positioned not to see your crab monster at the top of the room. Any murder? No? No, no murder? Nothing happened this turn. Oh, here it comes. Nope, oh, there's murder. Yeah. Now there's murder. Oh, that research thing might be screwed. Oh, there is a destroyer of worlds up here. Start swearing, everyone. Oh, she can't use her abilities. I'm gonna go help your, uh, person over here. Good news, your pepper spray is doing the trick. No, they didn't just, well, I don't know why sometimes they attack the researchers, and they don't sometimes. It is a mystery and a half. Alright, I'm ready when you are, I guess. Nothing really right. happened besides a like wall a, breaking. Nope, nope, never mind. I thought it would be the last door, but it is not. Nope, there's like a gajillion more. And before you open another one after this, I need to research something else. Alright, there's mobs spawning everywhere. But we have a turbo land module now, so that's gonna make all of our stuff super effective. I'm actually really glad I I made that, or researched it. Oh, my dude's getting touched. Or was getting touched. Now the lady's getting saucy. Might as well set her to glocking people in the head, and whenever we find another shop, I should get her a new gun or something. Something else I've been wondering about lately is, like, I've gotten to the point with the channel where people are actually starting to send me a lot of stuff to, to review instead of having to cold call people for getting access to their demos. But I notice that right around March and April, I kind of noticed this a lot before, when even when I was, like, having to find them myself, a lot of Kickstarters get started. Uh, a lot of Kickstarters and Indiegogo projects get started around March and April. I wonder why. Question. Must be some data that say people are more willing to spend money around now on those types of projects. I'll bet Kickstarter keeps some very advanced metrics and all that information for the people that try to raise money. Alright, uh. wait. Before you open another door, I need to research a thing. That's what I was trying to think of. Um... Really not- I'm gonna start working on Tesla modules, because those are super OP once you get them built up. Um, what else? What else? What? Oh, we can build a little another unit down here. Probably should. Um, let me build another science device. So we have plenty of research points going into the next floor. It's not like we're low on industry. I'm not sure what gives me that impression. But feel free to open another door, Mr. Nerpopopolis. And what's behind door number two? Murder. Holy crap, monster. Lots of it. Whole bunch of murder. And, um, and a wall smasher. Alright, let me... Two wall smashers, actually, are in here, and I got both of them. We're good. Okay, they're both over by you. Well, isn't that just convenient? Almost too convenient, yes. My god, so many. Oh, man, things are attacking something. Oh, god. Save this crystal. Okay, um... I'm looking it. I got it. Ish. Yeah, I'm gonna send the lady Murder. to help you as well. Alright, they're dead. Good news is we got a lot of defenses everywhere else. And that's that last door breaker. So those door breakers, we've been pretty on top of them this game because we just had a lot of luck with uh, upgrades and... 
are units available. Um, but sometimes if you can't find them in time and they're like way back in an area that is kind of weirdly shaped, they'll just start breaking down extra doors back here. Um, if they're allowed to just kind of roam around free. Which means you can just get a boatload of stuff spawning on top of your face, which can be a problem if you're getting overrun. Alright, I think, I'm really hoping this is the last door, because we lost a lot of power, or no, dust that turn, and we have some things that are now unpowered. Oh. Like that uh, food generator next to you. Oh. Is it? No, this is, this is, on, this is powered. The one that's uh, one floor below you and to the right... Of your Ooh, cheap guy. that's yeah, that's bad. Yeah, now it's no longer powered. Yeah. All right, awkward. ready for me to open another door? Let me stick my lady by this the thing. It's not the last door. Why is it the last door? That's the name of a game, by the way. The last door? Yeah, it's like a point and click adventure game. Pretty good. There's a lot of shit over by the lady this time around. That's not the best. They're going to get to the crystals, so I'm going to send I ho Um, a ram just opened another door, by the way. That sucks. There's not but shit I'm going to do about door, it. So. Oh, isn't that convenient? All right. Well, I got a dude. All oh, right, we're good. What what in this area shoots like a glowing orbule that chases down something and makes it explode? Is that the mustard gas or whatever? Pepper spray. Where? In this room over here with the science machine where I used to guard with the lady. Is that the last door? Are we out of doors? We're out of doors. Okay, let me... Do we not have a vendor this whole map, huh? Huh. Oh well. That's life for you. Well, I'm moving all my people to the thing. You know, with my very sexy Gaston-style strut. It's really all it is. It's just like a derpy strut. Like, yeah. Oh. Johnny Bravo ain't got nothing on me. Back when that was a show that people watched. I didn't remember that show. I didn't really remember liking that show. I think I would have preferred if they had more, like, Rocco's Modern Life or something on instead. I loved that show. I think I started watching when I was, like, nine. You were supposed to be, like, a teenager before they wanted you to start watching it. Not that it matters. Yay, adventure. Well, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for joining us. Um, we're gonna keep going until this is over. I don't care if it's, like, 2 a.m. before we're done. So join us next time. Like and subscribe. Let us know if there's something you want us to check out or if you have any comments about how we play this game. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for joining us for an or Dungeon of the Endlessiness. Uh, bye.